welcome in sunny autumn cologne with a new hairstyle uh, as you see finally my hair is cut and i want to do a small comparison between uh, those two smartphones here which is the pixel 6 and the honor 50 so this is not the p50 pro because i'm filming right now with the p50 pro so we want to check out which one performs better because last time when i compared the cameras of the p50 with the pixel 6 i clearly said that the pixel 6 is more in the same ballpark as the honor 50 and to prove this right now and to check out which one is better we will do a small camera comparison so let's get started So here we have the two cameras on the back of the phones. The Pixel 6 with a 50 megapixel and 12 megapixel ultra wide, and the Honor 50 with a 108 megapixel main and an 8 megapixel ultra wide. And the other two sensors I just simply ignore, but you can see in the spec sheet how they look like. Yeah, who's gonna be the winner? Let's start with some video tests. We start off with the front-facing uh, camera on the Pixel 6, only 8 megapixel and only 1080p 30 frames per second, the maximum resolution. How is the dynamic range? Behind me you can see uh, the clouds and you can see overexposing maybe a little bit the sun in the background. And uh, yeah, uh, this is the field of view that you can expect. These are the colors you can expect. And this is the overall performance of the front-facing camera. What do you think about the Pixel 6 uh, front-facing camera? And uh, let's compare it now with the Honor 50's front-facing Pixel, front-facing camera. And now the Honor 50's uh, 32 megapixel sensor. It only can record maximum 1080p 60 frames per second slow, so no 4K despite having this very large sensor. And you can see probably overexposing the sky in the background, so the HDR on uh, this front cam is not the best. What do you think about the colors? What do you think about the stabilization? Uh, write it down in the comment section. And uh, yeah, I will walk a little bit around so you can see a bit of the stabilization. And uh, yeah, this is what you can expect in terms of front-facing camera. 1080p 60 it looks a bit more fluid, I would say. So I think for vlogging, maybe the Honor 50 has an advantage here as long as you vlog with the front-facing camera. What do you think? And now recording with the main camera, the 108 megapixel camera sensor on the Honor 50. Very large GM2, HM2, GM2 sensor of Samsung that uh, the Honor incorporates here, as well as the uh, Xiaomi 11T and the Redmi Note 10 Pro and various different other devices. So it's a very good sensor indeed. And uh, one over 1.5 inch sized sensor so very very good indeed uh, how is the stabilization how are the colors especially in this like autumn uh, kind of flare with the sun somewhere in the background and uh, let's walk a little bit faster to see how good the stabilization on the honor 50 really is and if it is really good for vlogging my caveat with the honor 50 is a little bit the ultra wide angle because this is like the weakest point that it has and that you cannot switch to the ultra wide angle while recording at 1080p 60 frames per second for some reason but uh, yeah i think that the honor 50 has a good camera for vlogging if you use the main camera on the back that is and now the google pixels 50 megapixel sensor very large sensor one over 1.3 inch sized and uh, this is uh, really one of the best that Google ever put in to a Google Pixel or Nexus phone. So this is a very large sensor and I'm not sure really what sensor it is. Maybe it's also Samsung, maybe it's Sony or maybe it's Omnivision, we don't know. But this sensor has very good, nice bokeh and depth of field and is also good for vlogging, I would say. Google Pixel has good, excellent stabilization, I would say. And uh, yeah, colors and high dynamic range should be very comparable. I think it is lifting up the shadows a little bit more than on the Honor 50, which is like having this more contrasty kind of look, adding more contrast to the scene. And yeah, this is what you can expect in terms of video quality, stabilization, and of course, in terms of uh, colors. 
And what we can do, 1080p60, is also zoom out to the ultra wide angle 12 megapixel sensor, which I will do right now, so you can see where I'm walking. And it has also a very sm smooth zooming in and zooming out. I can also zoom in two times, as you can see here, one times, and zooming out to the ultra wide angle, which is pretty cool. And now I get ultra wide angle, not as ultra wide as I would want to have. It's, I think, 16 millimeters. Uh, in terms of camera tech or camera talk here. So uh, it could be a little bit wider, but I think it's still okay. And for vlogging also pretty good, I would say pretty okay. Uh, though in uh, photos probably it's a bit unsharp here and there, but let's compare it with the Honor 50's 8 megapixel ultra wide angle, which uh, is also not one of the best. And now the ultra wide angle 8 megapixel sensor on the Honor 50. Is it wider than on the Pixel 6? I'm not so sure. What I think the Pixel 6 will win in is dynamic range. So you take a look at the sky and see if it's overexposed or not. Because I think that the Pixel 6 has a better algorithm when it comes to high dynamic range, especially in video. And the Honor 50 being an older device, being not yeah, being the first Honor device released without Huawei really tweaking the camera system might suffer a little bit uh, from um, low dynamic range, not so high dynamic range. But what do you think about stabilization? What do you think about yeah, the, the uh, sharpness of this 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens? Is it good for vlogging? I would say in terms of stabilization, in terms of sharpness, both are okay on one level, but the Pixel 6 probably is better in high dynamic range and uh, which will yeah, look just simply a little bit better, especially when you have this uh, high contrast, these sun-like uh, situations that you usually have in summertime, not so much in November right now, like, but yeah, exception uh, here, uh, we have a nice little video. So what do you think about the uh, image quality of the ultra wide angle? Uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second is one limitation of it, so it cannot go to 60 frames per second, which is a little bit of a bummer, I would say. Uh, but uh, yeah, what do you think about this ultra wide angle in video mode? One thing that is a bit of a bummer on the 50 is when you start recording with the main camera lens, the only thing you can do is like zoom in. If you start recording, it doesn't matter if it's 1080p 30 or not. Uh, with the ultra wide angle lens, you cannot zoom in to the main lens. So camera switching in general is not working on the Honor 50. So I cannot switch from the main lens to the ultra wide while recording or the other way around from the ultra wide to the main lens while I'm recording. And this is a little bit of an artificial uh, yeah, limitation, I would say, because the chipset, the Snapdragon 778, should be able to do this because it's fast enough and have other camera systems that can do this with the same chipset. So what do you think about this limitation? Pretty bummer, isn't it? Here the photos on the left, always the Honor 50, on the right, always the Pixel 6. This photo both have a 24 millimeter main sensor was taken with the yeah, closest focusing distance you can get to get the object still sharp in the same kind of sharpness. This shows and demonstrate the difference between the sensor size. So what you can see here on the left is I can get a lot closer on the Honor 50 even though it has the 1 over 1.5 inch sized sensor. The 1 over 1.5 or one over one point three size inch sized sensor has a little bit more shallow depth of field. This is why you cannot get so close to an object. Otherwise, this part here would be already, uh, or this part would be already unsharp. And here you can see in terms of sharpness, they are pretty much on par. What we can see here is a color difference, and this is very interesting. For some reason. We have the more pinkish color, which the headphones here, by the way, if you don't know, it's the EVA 2020 headphones uh, from Final Audio. I did a test mm, of them. You can see detail levels like the little hair uh, dust that is there sitting there. I really, with my eyes, I didn't even see them. So afterwards, I was like shocked and was like cleaning it up like crazy because I didn't see them with my eyes. Anyway, uh, are detailed here. But what you can see is like, it's kind of a bluish tint that we have on the Pixel 6. So the Pixel 6 is doing something wrong with the colors. If you see them side by side like this, there's also something more warm on the left side and more coolish on the right side. So the Pixel doesn't get the color quite right, I have to say. 
we take a look at the green accent color here, the pixel does a better job because the green accent color looks exactly like this on the photo there on the right of the pixel. And on the left you can see a little bit of overexposure already, so it's not as yellowish, it's more this green that we have here. What we can see here is fringing already on both, both of this issue, where it's getting unsharp on the sides, so I think I'm pretty surprised that I managed to keep them so on par. And yeah, you're a bit closer on, on a 50 because you can get a little bit closer in terms of detail level and so on. Everything basically the same, but the color is the big difference. And uh, yeah, we can see on close-up shots again the same issue with um, colors on the Pixel 6, I would say. Here we can see on first glance which photo do you like more, the Pixel 6 or the Honor 50. I have to say the brighter image on the Honor 50 is more pleasing to the eye. And I think also in terms of details, we have more details on the Honor 50. So let's zoom in and take a look. So what we can see here, both manage to get everything nice and sharp. You can see already a little bit of grain going on on the Honor 50 and not so much on the Pixel 6. It looks very, very grain free. But because it is a little bit darker exposed, the details like this little yeah, squares that you can see here, or these little yeah, tiles basically, are not so visible. So it's not so mm, clear. Then the other thing is like you can see a little bit of hair here, I think, hanging around uh, on this little flower stem. I don't know how, it's, how to call it. And it's missing here, which is interesting because basically just a few seconds later I took the same shot. And uh, it's getting a bit un unsharp here at the bottom where here it keeps still its sharpness. This is like also due to the sensor size. We can see a little bit more of little hair and dust here that we don't see here because it's just simply unsharp. So in general, close-up shots, I really like the Honor 50 a little bit more with the main camera sensor. Of course, the Honor 50 also has a macro lens. I did not test this out because it's a 2 megapixel one and uh, colors are wrong in my all my tests that I did and it's not pretty sharp and you have to hit the sharpness point. Uh, it's very hard to do so I stick usually with this close-up to the Honor 50 and I like the Honor 50 a little bit more. We have a bit darker and more contrasty look on the Pixel 6 however which uh, some people might like as well but I think that the uh, main subject here this little stem of the I call it stem, I don't know how, what, what it's called, is um, a little bit too dark. Uh, next so uh, song, no, next picture, next photo. Interestingly enough, here we have a different focus point that they chose automatically. This was taken with the main camera lens on both and we can see here that it decided to focus on these leaves here and here it decided not to focus on the leaf, not even on the background here. It decided to focus completely on the background on the Pixel 6 which... So this is a little bit sharper of course than this here because this is clearly background blur. But this is not the focus point. You can see clearly at this Apple logo is not sharp. The focus point was somewhere in the background where you can see the tree that is in focus. And uh, yeah. In terms of colors, a little bit warmer look on the Pixel 6, a bit more cooler on the Honor 50. When it comes to dynamic range, uh, what we can see here, very, very comparable. Maybe a little bit more punch and blue put on the Pixel 6. But when it comes to uh, the look and feel in general, what we can see here, both now with the zoom in lens, the, the two times the zoom, and yeah, I get a clear, nice focus here on this Apple sticker and the little uh, metal net of the ping pong table. Here it really also did not focus on this. It just focused probably on the background again. I'm not even sure. It looks a little bit all. The background looks too unsharp for me. So I think it missed focus completely here. I don't know where it was focusing on in this two times shot, the Pixel 6, I have to say really. And yeah, here I prefer the Honor 50 shot, but they are very, very close uh, together, as you can see here in these in this situation. Not much of a difference. Also, in terms of uh, what, what what can we see in terms of like noise or something like this? No sharpness, not much of a difference. 
But as soon as we hit the ultra wide angle, we can see a big clear difference. We have much more sharpening and much more contrast going on on the Honor 50, and this is usually an indication for uh, bad optics or bad sensor. And this is really the case on the Honor 50. It has not the best sensor and best optics. But I have to say, this really flat kind of look where the shadows are raised so much on the Pixel 6 looks also a bit unnatural. What we can say in the background here is like this bluish uh, kind of real blue sky uh, is on the Pixel 6, so it has HDR turned to max or something like this. It's like looking a bit flat. Now when it comes to detail level, I think we see a little bit of noise and grain already on the Honor 50. It has more contrast. This is why it's like compensating for maybe the lack of sharpness. But I think both managed to do a nice job, both at 60 millimeters, by the way. I'm not sure why the Pixel 6 is a little bit closer up uh, because... Uh, ah, I know why, because it's 12 megapixels instead of 8 megapixels. This is why it's a bit closer up here at 100%. But you can see the sharpness level here. It The leaves are sharp and the background is sharp here. The leaves are a bit soft already. And when we go to the sides here, both are not very good, of course, at the sides. But uh, when we take a look at the detail level and sharpness, the Pixel 6 wins here. And the same goes for the tree here. You can see fringing a lot. It doesn't look nice but when you compare it with the Honor 50 there's a little bit more detail on the Pixel 6 definitely uh, might be due to the higher resolution um, both ultra wides I don't like so much but if I have to compare here I like the more contrasty look on the Honor 50 I have to say because the Pixel 6 looks a bit too flat but the Pixel 6 has better details this is why I would prefer the Pixel 6 here in this case uh, talking about HDR here a shot um, to see how they handle this with the main camera lens and I have to say this is very interesting because this is I think the only shot where I have the Pixel 6 showing up in HDR with a um, with a color of the sky that is more accurate and the Honor 50 is doing what the Pixel 6 usually does is make, making everything a little bit more blue as you can see here this is like a light blue and this is a bit more darkish blue and this more darkish blue is more realistic when it comes to HDR we have a more aggressive HDR on the Pixel 6. You can see here the clouds much more refined, much more details here. Um, not realistic at any point or shape, but it is uh, very comparable. Very comparable is also the sharpness on both. Let me take a look at here. Uh, first of all, this is a nice, interesting cloud that has almost a straight line here. I'm not sure what was going on there. When it comes to details, like look at the, whoops, look at the brickwork here. Uh, do we see much of a difference in terms of sharpness? I don't think at the top, but when you scroll a little bit down here, the middle window here, what we can see clearly is here. This, there's like details lacking and here we still have the details of the brickwork. And we can see this also on this window where here's more detail on the Pixel 6. So you have to really pixel peep both very, very close together and more aggressive um, HDR on the Pixel 6. Uh, talking about HDR directly shooting against the sun. Again, I said one of the only ones, but no, in this case also the Honor 50 uh, has a good HDR, not as good and aggressive as on the Pixel 6. We have a bit more of warmer color here and a bit more white. This is why also the sky is a bit more bluish here and a bit more yeah, yellow put into the blue mix of the Pixel 6 which is rare because in other photos you will see soon that it's a different kind of exposure. I think so the Pixel 6 has better HDR algorithm when it comes to sharpness here and details almost on par. There's a bit of more punch, a bit of more contrast on the Honor 50 and a bit more raised shadows on the Pixel 6. HDR both are good, but the Pixel 6 does better. You can see it also here on this main shot where we have a uh, yeah, overexposed and fringing going on on, the, on a 50 and we have almost unnatural looking ki kind of HDR. We can see like a little bit of haze here as well on this uh, little uh, handle of the Pixel 6, but it managed to make the sky blue, which looks a bit unrealistic, I have to say. Uh, but yeah, it's probably preferred by people. When we take a look at the colors, you can see this is the green of the Lime uh, Mini Roller. Uh, raw, they're called Mini Roller Electric Scooter, I think it's called in English. And here we have like a more punchy kind of shiny 
uh, green and yeah the pixel 6 captures the color better here i would say it's a bit more too, sh too shiny on the honor 50 in my opinion then the next chart ultra wide angle we can see a big difference now with the ultra wide angle where we have the pixel 6 that is usually putting in the punch and the really blue blue sky that is completely unrealistic it's like it exchanged the sky a little bit and here on the honor 50 we have the more realistic sky i have to say because it's autumn now it's not like this blue kind of sky that we have in summertime um, but more contrasty more um, defined hdr look but also the sharpness on the ultra wide angle the 8 megapixel is not really cannot really compete with the um, ultra wide angle pixel 6 one so i was a little bit wrong here i guess with the ultra wide angle when i was comparing the pixel 6 with the p50 pro i was saying ah the pixel 6 is so bad it can compete with the honor 50 but the honor 50's ultra wide angle is worse so as you can see here worse in any any case or form we have more details definitely on the pixel 6 and here it's like getting really really soft and pixel 6 still is also not perfect but still can uh, let's just take a look at this little tower here uh, how much sharper it looks on the pixel 6 so uh, also uh, yeah this gate here completely unsharp in here yeah it's also not perfectly sharp but it's way better than on the honor 50. let's take a look at uh, hdr again and here shot from the shades into onto the, the streets and we can see like hdr king here pixel 6 because here we have overexposure of the wall which is, it is yellow the wall and here it's completely white overexposed and uh, yeah this is not nice the shadows here also interestingly enough the pixel 6 uh, decided to leave the shadows like a bit darker and here it was a bit raised overexposed in general and when we take a look at the ultra wide angle shot i think the ultra wide angle shot on the honor 50 managed to keep better hdr still a bit of overexposed and like haziness and and, and unsharpness um the pixel 6 has uh a better effect here you can see also the hdr effect by this moving car where we have a little bit of ghosting going on and uh, yeah in general a bit soft shot and uh, the pixel 6 is doing a better job on the ultra wide angle and when we take a look at the zoom in shot i have to say this is what interest interesting enough corrects the hdr effect on the on a 50 and we can see here yeah it is like correct now and when we take a look at the detail level it's like not much of a difference but the pixel 6 has a bit of more sharpness going on a bit of a different color tone again it's a bit overexposed here's a bit like um, warm too warm even i would say so the color here on the left on the on a 50 is more accurate color of the wall and is a bit warmish a bit too warm on the pixel 6 for some reason we have more contrast on the honor 50s uh, main sensor here zoomed in uh, then on uh, the pixel 6 which raises the shadow here um, so interesting i would say in this zoom shot that detail level wise i think the pixel 6 still wins but uh, color wise i think the honor 50 is a bit uh, better this completely different again color wise the honor 50 this time decided to be a bit more yellowish a bit more warm where the pixel 6 decided to be a bit more cool interesting enough in this shot when you take a look at the background here the honor 50 has better hdr than the pixel 6 which is interesting so the pixel 6 decided to blow out a little bit here you can see there's a little bit more blue here's like blown out the thing and uh, yeah when we take a look at the sharpness and the colors in general it is a bit too warm on the honor 50 and it's a bit cooler more realistic color for the grass the green grass here and a bit too yellowish on the honor 50 detail levels i think the pixel 6 wins a little bit slightly you can see this here in the bushes as well and uh, yeah when we take a look at the ultra wide angle we have the same as we had before more realistic uh, sky color on the honor 50 with slightly blown out highlights not so aggressive hdr very aggressive hdr on the pixel 6 um, raised shadows on the pixel 6 a bit darker on the honor 50 uh, when it comes to detail level the pixel 6 wins you can see you can get a bit more details on the grass here and here's like one green mess on the honor 50 
So this is what you can see here. A more pleasant image is the Pixel 6, definitely, even though not very realistic. Then the zoom-in shots. Zoom-in shots, again, the Honor 50, not sure, decided like to do some yellowish, edit some yellow and brightening up everything, the scene. And the Pixel 6 has natural colors and also better sharpness. You can read what is written here. And uh, yeah, it's a bit darker, exposed, a bit more shadows here. Uh, interestingly enough on the Pixel 6 where the Honor 50 decided to raise the shadows it's very very close in the zoomed in shot I have to say but um, with slightly better colors on the Pixel 6. Now here we have an, a nice interesting tree and uh, one of the branches was growing like this which I found super interesting so I had to photograph it. We have the warmer kind of shot on the Pixel 6 a little bit more unrealistic I have to say this is where sometimes if you get warm you get always not always warm shots on the Pixel 6 but if you get warm shots on the Pixel 6 you can see clearly when you were at this point here at this spot uh, it's unrealistic. <laughs> But what we can say with the main ca camera here is the sharpness and here the detail level. Look at the details that you can see here at this branch that are just simply completely lost on the Honor 50, which is a bummer, I would say, because the Honor should be able to also retain the same detail level. Uh, but clearly, either it's out of focus here, but I don't think it is because it's just simply missing the, the details which uh, the Pixel 6 has clearly, uh, so the Pixel 6 has the better sensor. Um, yeah, HDR is also very aggressive, you can see it here in the background with the blue behind here and also, also overexposed where the uh, Honor 50 does a little bit of better job I would say um, and more contrast added also to the Pixel 6 which helps probably also with the sharpness. And this is the last photo already. It was a kind of darker situation here and I prefer the Pixel 6 warmer look here and the Honor 50 managed also the, in terms of brightness to keep up but keeping everything a little bit cooler looking and um, sharpness level again we have I think a clear winner on the right with the Pixel 6 and uh, yeah uh, one thing that I want to show you right now is uh, nighttime shots. So let's take a look at nighttime shots. Low light or night photography. Both are experiencing some issues, I would say. These are photos that I took in, let's say, uh, dark situations. And we can see that we can get a much brighter photo on the Pixel 6, which is very interesting. But probably courtesy to the new 50 megapixel wide super super large uh, sensor wide angle but you can see it's a little bit of unsharp the Honor 50 has a smaller sensor still a big one one over 1.5 inch size sensor it's not doing so great as you can see here there's a lot of noise going on but what we can see here this is also taken with the dedicated night mode it at least is sharp so either there's very harsh um, denoising going on on the Pixel 6 but you can see here the, the, the text is more sharp on the Honor 50 uh, the rest is just like simply bad and the Pixel 6 is one league above it but still the sharpness is a big difference when we take a look at super dark pictures there is where the Pixel 6 blows my mind in comparison to the Honor 50 or blows Honor 50's mind. It still has this not sharp kind of look and even if I zoom in on Honor 50 with this um, much noise going on, it tends to look a little bit sharper, I have to say. But the clear winner here in this night shot is the Pixel 6 where it lost a little bit or where when it comes to like a little bit more situations where you're not in complete darkness trying to take a shot so dim lit situations where the night mode kicks in already I think here we have a draw when it comes to the details I would even say here the Honor 50 is much better because the Honor 50 manages to focus on stuff where the Pixel 6 sometimes loses its focus or it's like focusing on something else I'm not sure what it is focusing on maybe only on this and uh, this is now a bit, a little bit of a close-up shot as well. But what I also noticed is, and you can see my dedicated night shot um, video for the Pixel 6, where I'm just 
do nighttime photography. The Pixel 6 suffers with a lot of overexposure with highlights uh, in darkness and this is something that the Honor 50 does not have. It cannot brighten up shots so much but it does not have so it's mm, taming the highlights down, tuning them down which the Pixel 6 does not do. So in general when it comes to super super dark night the Pixel 6 is better because with its larger sensor has not so much noise what you can see here on the dark shot or dim lit situation is as well, oh, I think it was focusing here, uh, bright is the same, brightness is the same, but it's more yellowish again. And the Honor 50 has a bit more greenish kind of tone, but also more sharpness here. And uh, yeah, so in um, nighttime shots, I couldn't compare those both because I didn't have time for this, but in nighttime shots the Pixel 6 is losing against the Honor 50 in super dark conditions the Honor 50 um, loses against the Pixel 6. So which of those two devices is the clear winner? I have to say maybe I was a little bit too optimistic for the Honor 50 because clearly we can see I think in photos and a little bit in terms of videos especially the Honor 50 has no chance to beat the Google Pixel 6. Though I was still surprised how good it could cap, keep up and how good natural color reproduction on the Honor 50 really is. In comparison to the Pixel 6, it has a little bit yeah, of boosting colors. So clearly the winner is the Pixel 6 with more detailed photos and I think more pleasant to the eyes photos that you can share directly on Instagram and co. So the Pixel 6 is the clear winner when it comes to this comparison with the Honor 50 and photos and especially also videos. What do you think? Which one was your favorite? And do you think that I'm wrong with giving the Pixel 6 the clear win here? Write it down in the comment section. That is everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.